Hey guys, Wiseo60 here, and today I'm going to show you how to flash a uh, different PRL to your Sprint Galaxy Nexus. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link I have in the description, and it'll take you to a, I think this is an Epic 4G Touch uh, thread. However, as you can see, um, it's got a list of URLs, and then of course, uh, all the downloads for all the different URLs you can get. Pick one. Um, Alright, so I think right now I'm using the hacked PRL 01337. It's pretty awesome if you have poor sprint coverage in your area or if your phone um, is uh, slow on sprint 3G data. So after you get that, you're going to want to put it on your phone. If you get, if you downloaded it on a computer, you're going to have to transfer it, but I suggest you just you know connect to Wi-Fi, download it on the phone. Um, get some sort of file explorer. I use ES File Explorer. It's free. All right, um, and then what you're going to want to do is go. Uh, it'll be in your download folder. So here's it right now. I think it'll come zipped. So just unzip it, and you'll get this PRL. So you're going to want to rename that PRL to. I don't want to do it again here. Rename it to test.prl. Uh, just like that. Make sure it's in the root of your SD card. So, if you don't know what that is, it's the part in your SD. It's part. It's the part in your storage area that uh, contains all the other folders. I guess it's as far back as you can go. It's kind of hard to. Um, sorry, I'm I'm kind of bad at explaining it. Well, in terms, if you don't know what root is uh, or what the root directory is. So, after you, after you've got that. You're going to want to get, um, let's see here. Oh, there it is. Sorry. It doesn't work. Okay. You're going to want to get any cut. I'm not sure if it's in the marketplace. Uh, it might, I think it's back up. It was taken down for a little bit. Um, or, sorry, not marketplace. Play Store. Uh, don't like that name. Okay. So, yeah, get any cut. And then what you're going to want to do is go here, make an any cut widget after you've installed. Put it wherever. And then you're going to want to do an activity. And then scroll. Uh, scroll until you get the PRL right. Hit that. Press OK. And there you go. There's the PRL right. Remember, make sure you do a widget. If you don't do the widget, it's going to uh, not work. At least, oh, at least if you have Jelly Bean. Um, I'm assuming if you have a Spring Galaxy Nexus, you're running Jelly Bean. But if you're not, you can probably still just do it with the regular icon. I'm going to just go over here and hit PRL right. It'll reboot your phone, and it should be working. Now, to check to see if it flashed it properly, you're going to need to go here, about phone, status, And where am I going here? There it is. PRL version 1337 is what I'm using. Whatever PRL you flash should show up there. And one last check to make sure you're working. Um, this might not necessarily work if you have good sprint coverage while you're testing this. Next thing, it, it, it should work, but let me just make sure I don't give anyone's number away. Alright. So, should we able to dial star 4. I'm not sure if this is going to pull up Verizon or not, but it might pull up Verizon. Uh, there we go. So welcome to Verizon. Oh, I didn't exit out of it. Let's hang that up. Okay. So welcome to Verizon Wireless. Um, if you get that, you're probably roaming on Verizon. Um, you know, the normal restrictions about the 300 megabytes of data and such on roaming apply here. Um, but you know it's kind of hard to use that much, and even if you do, they won't necessarily throttle you. Okay, uh, my dog's getting in the way here. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, just ask me, and I'll do my best to help you out. So I guess I'll see you guys later.